right now. Gold Derby, okay, can I first say, yeah. I know Gold Derby because I'm in the business. Yeah. And at one point there was like a there was like a poll to say like who's gonna win the next immunity challenge. Yeah. And literally like all the contestants were ahead of me and also there was a category that said no one. Yeah. And I was like, everyone and no one yeah. has better chance. It's more likely that no that something that has never yeah. happened in the history of the game than for me to win the next immunity. And I won. Is that that you won. won. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Screw Gold Derby. Did, You're all losers. Did you put did you predict yourself in the you could have let you kill it? I mean, yeah, 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 if there was actual Vegas spread, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I'm yeah. not a cheater. What did you learn about the game of Survivor from actually playing it? I mean, you know, in the game, it's like you feel like it's a game that you win, but you realize on the island it's really more a game that you lose. You watch people lose the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, people want you to, like, make big moves, but in a way, like, like my strategy is just, like, stay alive, don't lose, and then try to, like, make your best case. I mean, I didn't win, but, but I did feel like that was, if I played again, I'd probably play similarly. Some kind of pre-existing way of seeing people, so that, that helped, but in general, they're totally different games. Amazing Race is, like, so much more frenetic and stressful. So I was like more like a Chinese water torture. Yeah. What are you more most proud of, and what do you think your biggest mistake in the game? Um, what I'm most proud of is, I guess, the biggest. Mo I mean, last week I, there was like a party, and I won the beauty challenge that yeah. Google Derby yeah. predicted everyone and no one would win. <laughs> But and, you know, yeah, I have all these people from different you know periods of my life, and they're all cheering when I win. It's like you know you don't usually get that in life. You know, yeah. you know you don't really have like this like okay, you won something. Yeah. And that was a cool moment. I mean, the probably biggest mistake. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes. I'm looking for an idol on the first day. Well, it's interesting. You, you and Nick both looked on the outs of your tribe on the first yeah, day. We're both on the and outs. You both make it to the end as the rock yeah, star. Yeah. So that's a pretty cool story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I kind of went in a little too hot. You know, like they keep you in like lockdown for like a week, and by the time you get out the island, you're like, yeah, I want to do something. Yeah. But I realized quickly if I played that kind of game, I would have gone home soon. Because I felt like there was a little bit of a target on my back being like, I don't know, somebody from Hollywood or whatever. So. And I guess the game's about adapting and changing your game as you say it's not working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were given it's up. really 90% a social game, so like, you know. Figure out how to charm people, yeah. which in Hollywood we all know how to do. <laughs> Just pretend like you're all A-list movie stars. Yeah. That was what I was saying to myself. Well, thanks very much for talking to me. Right, cool. Congratulations for a great season, great game. Yeah. Particularly the but last two. Derby. Yeah. Yeah. There we yeah. go. <laughs>